for me, you know, and I did a show on this recently, but there was just this crazy thing where the joys of parenthood just completely vanished. I think of this with, with regards to Madonna, right? The, the singer. Yeah. Before your time, but Madonna was this massive icon of narcissistic body vanity, self-involvement, yes. and, yeah. you know, uber Nazi slept him. Yeah, and Madonna, it's like you just want to vomit by looking at her. Yeah, so like Madonna, she produced this book called, I think it was called Sex. And, you know, it's basically artistic pornography. Yeah. She never produced a book called Motherhood, showing how joyful she was with her children, how happy she was with her children. Because if you want to be famous these days, for the most part, you really have to sell your soul. You can't slut shame. You can't promote the joys of motherhood. You can't promote the joys of parenthood. You can't promote the joys of monogamy. You can't tell women to wait. You can't tell men to wait. You can't talk about the dangers of STDs. You can't talk about the dangers of unwanted pregnancies. You can't be skeptical of the welfare state. Like there's an ideological straitjacket that you have to be lashed into if you want any kind of prominence and fame in this world. And that's important. That's this important thing. Everyone who's public, everyone who's famous, everyone who's approved of in particular by the mainstream media is out for the living jugular of your entire culture and continuity as a country. They are promoting the worst conceivable lifestyles. They have the most personally dysfunctional relationships. I mean, look at what has happened with Madonna and her daughter, that Guy Ritchie, look at what's happened with Kim Kardashian, look at what's happened. I mean, it's a mess. They're famous yeah. and they're incredibly dysfunctional and what they're promoting is destroying people. 